Packers baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. We hate the Broncos. Oh, those Broncos, Vinny, are just a game back, believe it or not, of the Chiefs in the AFC West. I don't, I don't think we're too worried with that. I think people are a little more concerned with this AFC number one, number two seed race and all the controversy around officiating the last 48 hours or so. Did you have a chance to watch any of the, uh, the Chiefs-Bills game? And even if you haven't, I'm assuming you're, you're well aware of all the controversy. Yeah, I was watching the game. Um, got some help last night, though. That helped quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, that was nice. Um, so thanks, thanks Dolphins. Um, <laughs> shout out to them. So, yeah, that was a crazy ending, huh? That, uh, yeah, that's what I got on it. <laughs> Vinny, what's your – my policy on the strongest argument for not calling it, it, it was cool. And I think that things that are too cool shouldn't get penalties <laughs> because they're fun and I want them to exist. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I always heard football was a game of inches and uh, – <laughs> And I've heard people be like, oh, it was two inches. Well, isn't that like the point of rules or something? I don't know. I don't. Again, I don't know enough about the scheme of football or the rules of football. I'm just a fan. So I don't know enough about it. I saw a bunch of stuff. My Twitter has been lit up with uh, Kansas City folk. Uh, not happy. So I get it. I get the frustration. It's tough. Um, it's tough when things like that happen, and it feels like the game gets taken out of your control. And... Yeah, now you just, you know, you look forward to this weekend and you try to move on as best as you can. Yeah, look, as fans, like, I understandably so. Everybody wants, we're good with it if it benefits your team, right? I mean, if, if Vinny, you're sitting up there, it's the bottom of the ninth, you get a walk-off grand slam, and it's just an inch to the left of the foul pole, we are going to argue that it wasn't foul. This is how this works. <laughs> yeah, if that's the case, I'm going to blame whoever stadium it is for not moving the foul <laughs> yeah. pole in one inch closer, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess in this situation, we're more so talking about balls and strikes of, you know, something sure. that could be, couldn't be, it sometimes gets called, it sometimes doesn't, hey, you told me that's as far as you're going, and then you went farther, like, so it's, uh, you know, officiating is tough, and sometimes it works out for you, and sometimes it doesn't, and the problem the Chiefs have is they play in so many of these big-time games that it seems to be magnified when uh, when they're involved, good or bad, just because they're prime time. so... Um, yeah, it sucked. It sucked for Chiefs. It was great for the Bills, um, and here we are. And it did negate a really cool play. So, <laughs> which is a bummer for me. <laughs> mostly, it was one of the coolest plays I've ever seen. I think Josh Allen agreed. When uh, when you look at the upcoming opponent for the Patriots, I always count on you for the AFC East or AFC East opponents. How bad are the New England Patriots? Can they beat the Chiefs this Sunday? Uh, I'm never gonna say just straight up no because I think. If that ended up happening and I said no, I, you know, that would just be bad news. So, yes, sure. Yeah, they can, they can beat them. They can score more points than them. I don't see it happening, but uh, it, technically speaking, can happen. How much fun uh, is it for you? I, I know you're a Jets fan, and so seeing the Giants uh, run maybe here the last three weeks isn't necessarily enjoyable fully, but the Tommy DeVito story is incredible. It's like it's like Lynn Sanity all over again. Last night, the cutaways to his agent in the stands and, and his parents there. All, the whole story is phenomenal. Yeah, hey, I'm all about marketing. You guys know, so it's great for them. He's doing a great job of what he's doing, and he's playing pretty good football while he's doing it. So um, who knows how long he'll be the quarterback for the Giants. He's at least the quarterback through the rest of this year, and he's done a pretty, pretty good job um, to secure – to secure something for next year. Who knows if he's a starter, if he's a backup, whatever it is, but the story's awesome. It's been, uh, it's been fun to follow. The, the thing, like for him, it's great. Seize the opportunity and all that. For the team, this is actually bad, Vinny. They're, 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 they're screwing their draft pick situation here. This is not we, good for them. No, see, that's where like, I, I disagree. I think you, you play to win. I mean, we've talked about this, right? And I have a different perspective just because I play. And this sure. past year I played on a team that finished second to last and then Got screwed in the draft lottery. In the draft lottery, huh? How no about doubt. that? Yeah, no that um, I just don't. I don't believe in in, uh, in losing games, not necessarily on purpose, but setting your team up to lose. Just because I think, like I, again, I just go back to the Texans. They won that game last year. They end up getting C.J. Stroud, who looks like a fantastic quarterback. So I think you set the tone with your organization when you go out and try to win every game. And I think I think Brian Dayball is doing that in New York, and I think guys like playing for him, and I think that will set them up for future success better. I mean. You look at that, uh, obviously he played like really well this weekend, Zach Wilson, but you look at that draft class, I mean, none of those quarterbacks other than Trevor Lawrence have really, to this point in their careers, done anything super special. So I don't think you ever try to lose to get a guy because you never really know. You think you know, but you never really know. I mean, I'm not tooting my own horn here, but I went in the 11th round. Nobody thought of anything of me, and I was able to get to the big league. So 
I think, you, you know, you try to play to win and you see what happens. I always remember you telling us the story about a guy in the minors who was a or triple A player was like, I'm not wasting my time throwing to you. <laughs> yeah, I was on a rehab assignment. That was BS, dude. Like I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my work in. Uh but yeah, that was uh that was really funny. Yeah, that was Indianapolis that did that. They walked me. Oh. But uh yeah, yeah, but, you know, it happens. Yeah, it does. L- Vinny, I did see he did his top five Italian foods. Do you have a quick top three list for us of foods you like the most? Lasagna is my number one. Uh, I'm a spaghetti guy at number two. And then at number three, I can go, you know, a bunch of different ways with it. But I, uh, yeah, at three, I'm just tied with so many things that I'm just going to keep my one and two where they're at. Okay. Lasagna and spaghetti. That at least gives us some sort of evidence of where that thing's going to be at. Are you, are you worried, uh, at all that Zach Wilson, he's got a stranglehold on this starting job, you know, has one, had that great performance that I don't think Aaron Rodgers can get his job back. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay there. I think Rodgers will uh, will be the starter there next year. But hey, he looked freaking good. I'll yeah, say that. He did, so, he and did. the Jets have to make a decision on him next year with his uh, with his player option, like his first the first round thing. So we'll see what they do. Um, that that would be a pricey tag for a backup quarterback. So <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens there. But yeah, I mean, if he could play like that. That'd be unbelievable. Vinny Pasquantino, our NFL insider, joining us. Now, a couple years ago, we had a regular guest on our show um, who, who worked in local television, and she was pregnant at the time, and Cody was giving baby advice. You're True. about to get married. Cody's a married man. Do you, do you trust Cody to give you marriage advice? Uh, not over the phone publicly. Uh, <laughs> I, think I, I think I could take care of that one. But that does bring me to my next point. I will not be on the show next week. Um, so... Don't call, don't text. You won't be able to reach me anyway. So, so uh, normally we would rely on one of your teammates, but presumably they'll all be at your wedding. Uh, no, they'll, they'll be there, but I'm pretty sure most of them are free on Tuesday of next week, so <laughs> I just will not be. <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll try to set something up uh, for, for that. But, uh, yeah, man, we, uh, we're, we're happy Congrats. for you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, to all the Kansas City people tweeting at me asking where your invite is, not coming uh, i appreciate i appreciate the support but no i will not tell you where the wedding's at um or where the honeymoon is at i'm going to keep that one to myself uh and uh i'll see you guys in two weeks you should at least toss out the registry link i mean you know maybe they can't no, come no, no, they get you a gift no. we're okay we're okay there <laughs> all right Vinny, man we'll see you congratulations all right thanks guys i'll see you